I had a client ask, how do you upload a pre-selected chart of accounts? So a chart of accounts that you have decided that works best for your business and you just don't want to mess around with the one that QuickBooks Online uh, provides. So you have a list either in a CSV file or an Excel file and you just want to upload it to QuickBooks Online. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and show you today, how to upload that list into QuickBooks Online and how to go ahead and use it for your business. Hi, I'm Gisela and I have dedicated my channel to empowering small business owners to take control of their finances. So what is a chart of accounts? Well, a chart of accounts is a list of accounts by which you categorize all transactions that happen within your business. Each of these accounts fall under the main categories, which are assets, liabilities, equity, income, cost of goods sold, and expenses. This comes in handy when you have a set list of chart of accounts that just work best for your business. And this works out for me in uploading this chart of accounts within QuickBooks Online because a lot of my clients are within similar industries. So I just need to tweak a couple accounts here and there because like I've mentioned before, no one business has the exact same chart of accounts, even if they are within the same industry. There's always a couple tweaks here and there that will work for one business within the same industry that might not work with for another business within the same industry. So this is the way that I upload my chart of accounts for my clients and I hope that you find it helpful and I hope that it assists you in any type of at any moment that you might need to upload a chart of accounts. We're in QuickBooks Online and this is a sample company. So the step of deleting these accounts to upload the chart of accounts that we have already set up is probably going to be limited for me, but I'll go ahead and direct you step by step. When you enter QuickBooks Online, and like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is when you are entering QuickBooks Online for the first time. So you are setting up your chart of accounts for the first time. There shouldn't be any numbers in here at all because you are setting up the chart of accounts for the first time. You're going to go to this left panel over here. You're going to scroll over accounting. You're going to click on chart of accounts. And this is the pre-uploaded list of chart of accounts the, that QuickBooks Online has provided for us. Now, it's whatever works best for your company. Now, this list of chart of accounts might work for you and you might just keep it and not have to do any adjustments to it or maybe just delete some here and there. But if you have a set up chart of accounts already, like in a CSV file or Excel file, then this is how you would upload that list. First, you're going to go through all these and make them inactive. You're going to go through the warnings. Are you sure you want to inactivate this? Yes. And then this account cannot. This is one of the errors that I wanted to direct with you. When you are setting up your chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online for the first time, there will be a select few accounts that will not allow you to delete them. And the reason that is, is because they have to stay in the software because that's how QuickBooks Online directs some of the information. For example, maybe undeposited funds uh, might not, might, is going to be one that you cannot delete because the software has to have that account in the system and any account that you get the error message, just click OK and go to the next one. That's OK. We'll keep that account because the software has to have it in the system in order to generate all the information for your reports. So don't worry if you get the error, just click OK and it'll keep the account there. So again, you're going to go down, click on the arrow. Click on make inactive. You're going to say yes. If you get the error, just click OK and go to the next one. Just make the ones who the system allows you to make inactive, inactive. I hope that that was a, a mouthful. So only the accounts that the system allows you to make inactive are the ones you're going to make inactive. 
If you get an error message, just press OK and keep going to the next one. If you hit OK, it's not going to delete the account. It's just going to leave the account alone because the system needs to have that in the software to generate all the reports that the account, the accounting system generates. So we are ready to upload our list of chart of accounts. So we're going to go to the top right corner where it says new, this green button. We're going to click on the arrow pointing down and hit import. From here, we're going to hit browse. We're going to go ahead and choose our chart of accounts. Click on it. Click the document you want to upload. Click on open. And then from here, we're going to click on the next button here in green. And this is just matching up that the, this is the format that QuickBooks Online wants you to upload the document. So your columns have to match to this and ours do because everything has a check mark. If it doesn't match, I'll have a red X or a red marking. You'll just match up the titles so that the information goes under the correct category here or the correct title. We're going to click on next. In this next window, we're looking for any red markings and the red markings again will indicate that something is not matching up. So the setup for QuickBooks Online versus your chart of accounts from Excel or CSV, maybe a column, maybe a, a title is uh, typed in incorrectly. There's many reasons why you might get some red markings. So you would just have to go back and look at your chart of accounts that you uploaded your document to see why it isn't matching. In ours, everything is matching up and we know because we have the green arrow here and we don't have any red markings. So we're going to hit on import. And our chart of accounts says you're using 94 of 250 accounts included in your plan. So we have uploaded our chart of accounts in our system. And if you notice, when we uploaded our document, it had the chart of account numbers. If you don't see your chart of account numbers, I'm in a sample company, so I believe that's the reason why I, I'm not able to show you directly from here how to add the chart of accounts, but usually in your account, your original account, so I can't show my account for privacy reasons, but you would click on this gear icon and there's an option here um, named, I think it's named numbers. You will click that box so that it has a green check mark like the rest on here. And when you click the box, you'll see the chart of account numbers here on the left side. I'll go ahead and provide a screenshot of what it should look with the numbers and what it should look when you click on the gear icon. So from here, we have uploaded the chart of accounts through either a CSV or an Excel spreadsheet. The next step would be to continue on the process of setting up your QuickBooks Online account. Let me know if you found this helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and let me know what you would like to see. Did you find that you needed to upload a list of chart of accounts within QuickBooks Online and the one that QuickBooks Online was providing just didn't work out for you and you needed to upload these lists, let me know if it worked out for you.